Let's go through the initial setup wizard for the NVR and become acquainted with the live view icons and controls. Before you begin, ensure that you've completed the steps outlined in the previous segment, NVR Quick Start Guide. You can access your router. Your NVR is connected to a display and the wizard is shown on screen. You have a computer with internet access to create a new email account. When you first boot the NVR, it will ask you to select a language. Select a language and then select Next. Enter a new password with a minimum of six characters and then confirm the password. You can use the Shift key to select between upper and lower case. Don't forget to write down your password. Now, select Next to proceed. Then, confirm your language choice. Now select the correct video format for your region. Then select the appropriate resolution for your TV. 1920 by 1080 will suit most televisions. If your TV supports 4K, choose from 2K or 4K to take advantage of a higher resolution stream. Now select the appropriate time zone for your region. Then select your preferred date format. Next, select your preferred time format. Now give your DVR a relevant name or leave it as is. The P2P ID or QR code are unique identifiers for your NVR. You can scan the QR code on screen or on your NVR when configuring the Homestay View app for easy setup. Select Next to continue. Now you can choose to change the camera's names or leave them as is. Select Next to continue. Your NVR requires a free Gmail or Outlook email address to send alerts and facilitate password reset requests. We recommend creating an account devoted to your NVR. We'll show you the example using a Gmail account and show you the settings for the alternate account types on your screen so you can follow along. In the Email field, select Enable. Leave the Encryption field as is. In the SMTP port field, input 00587. In the SMTP server field, enter smtp.gmail.com. In the username field, enter the email account's username. Do not use the settings shown on screen here. Use your own email account credentials. In the password field, enter the email account's password. Do not use the settings shown on screen here. Use your own email account's credentials. In the sender field, Enter a name you wish notifications to be addressed from. Do not use the settings shown here on screen. Use your own email account's credentials. In the Receiver field, select an email to send notifications to. Do not use the settings shown on screen here. Use your own email account's credentials. In the Interval field, select the amount of time that must elapse before another alert will be generated. Now, select Test Email. If the test is successful, you will receive a notification on the screen. Now, check your inbox to ensure the test email was received. If it's not in the inbox, make sure to check the spam and junk folders. If you received an error, ensure that you entered the correct email address and password, and also check all your cables and connections. Then check the back of the NVR to ensure the LEDs above the Ethernet port are flashing. If not, unplug and replug the cable. You may also want to try a different port on your router. Also, check your email settings to ensure access for less secure apps is enabled. After receiving a successful test notification, select Next to continue. Now in the NTP field, select Enable to allow the NVR to automatically sync its clock with a time server. Then, select Update Now. Select Next to continue. Then, in the DST field, select Enable if you wish to apply Daylight Savings Time. In the Time Offset field, select the amount of time that Daylight Savings Time is increased in your time zone. Leave the Daylight Savings Time at its default setting. In the Start, End Time fields, select when Daylight Savings Time starts and ends. Now select Save and then OK. If you reach the video resolution during the wizard, select OK to apply the setting. Congratulations, your NVR is now ready to record video upon motion detection, send email alerts when an event has occurred, and is ready to connect to the HomeSafe View app. You're now ready to download the HomeSafe View app for your Android or iOS mobile device. Watch the segment HomeSafe View app for more information.